Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, and today we are walking through the Glastonbury Wilderness of Vermont, which is apparently the second most remote area of the Appalachian Trail. And uh, apparently, there's lots and lots of uh, scary stories about something called the Bennington Triangle. And as you can hear in the background, ghosts, probably. <laughs> Definitely not other hikers, it's probably ghosts. Holy Roller, tell us all about the Bending to Triangle. You were the one who sent me the article last night to read just before bedtime <laughs> to give me plenty of nightmares as I was sitting in my hammock. Yeah, me too. I mean, I had never heard of it until yesterday and I read a comment on Far Out about it. And um, yeah, so I looked it up and I read about it for way too long. But apparently the Bennington Triangle is this area of mysterious disappearances um, between... I think it was 1945 to 1950, several people disappeared without a trace in this area of the wilderness that we're walking through today, all in the same area, a very small area. Um, and I think only one of them was ever, their body was ever recovered. The rest just vanished without a trace. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little creepy. Apparently it's still really talked about. Nobody has any leads on any of them. Um, you were saying that some of them are all different ages and demographics. Yeah, yeah. So the first was like a 74-year-old man. Um, There's an 18-year-old girl. There is a young boy. There are several. There are just different ages and genders, and there didn't seem to be any real rhyme or reason to it. People would just walk off in the woods and never be seen again. So it's hard to say what happened to them. And we're going to walk through that area now, yes. or at least at some point today, and take a look for ourselves. And you're saying it looks different because of the uh, state of the forest. It's totally different to everywhere else. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see. But I've heard that it's very old growth forest. It's very dense. It's very remote. So we'll see what it looks like. I'm just walking down the track. And all of these trees here have got crosses. Like, don't go past them. They've been snapped off from tree stumps over here that not even sawn down, just snapped off. And here they are, put up, leaning against here. And the back over there, past this, you see something wrapped up in blue that kind of... It looks really creepy, it looks like a body. Let me zoom in. Now, obviously, that's tools and materials for people that are maintaining this path. But it does look a bit creepy around here. So, this is Harmon Hill. Down there is Bennington, the town. And in the distance there, if I zoom in, you can see the Bennington like War Memorial. That spire there. So I've just, I stand corrected that war memorial is not sort of like a, a first or second world war memorial. It's the uh, Battle of Bennington Memorial, which is part of the Revolutionary War, not what I was alluding to. So apparently this is the area of where um, several of the people went missing mysteriously and were never seen again. This general area, there's a road back there and apparently that was the last place several of the missing people were seen. This is it, the Glastonbury Wilderness, where all the people go missing and are never seen again. Glastonbury Wilderness, Green Mountain National Forest. This is the start of where all that Bennington Triangle shenanigans occurred. Well, we were kind of led to believe that this part of the forest was going to be extremely dense and uh, looked like you could easily get lost and there's a lot of vegetation here that would disguise the path if you got you know more than about 20 feet off of the path you wouldn't be able to find it again so that, I guess that's true 
but it's not quite as dense and dark as I was imagining. I think it looks a lot like a lot of forest that we've already been through. Well, this is it, the northern terminus of the Glastonbury Wilderness. We went through the dense forest and we didn't really feel or see anything spooky. So we can't attest to any of the folklore that goes around this area of the world, but yeah, it was, uh, it was an experience, I guess. <laughs> we finally made it to the top of Glastonbury Mountain where we are at the base of this fire tower here. The mountain is 3,750 feet and we've been climbing it all day for the last 11 and a bit miles. And I'm gonna go to the top there. What an amazing view. That's incredible. That's just absolutely stunning. Looking out over there, you can just see how remote this place is. Incredible to be here. So we got to camp, set up, had food, very exhausting day, uphill almost all day, and uh, survived the Bennington Triangle. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Oh, there he goes.